Neve here. I'm ready to take you down there, whether he calls us back or not. If there's one thing an episode of Catfish is gonna do, it's be unhinged, okay? But this is arguably the most unhinged, most chaotic, most unexpected episode that has ever aired. And that's saying a lot because we had the fat ass Kelly Price. You should never call me a fat ass Kelly Price. We've had people's moms stealing their pictures and sending their nudes to people. There's been a lot of craziness, but this David and Mother Wolf episode is next level. So it already starts off crazy because Mother Wolf and David have been talking online for 20 years and they never met. But she doesn't think he's a catfish. But they've been talking for 20 years. They both live in America and they never met. Now, this is the first big red flag. And in this episode, there are many, but this is the first one. Because why are you and the love of your life in the same country for 20 years and y'all never met up? Mother Wolf, she writes into the show, and that's the second red flag, because why is this grown white woman calling herself Mother Wolf when her name is June? She is also a Satanist, which, okay. And her and David, they've only ever talked about meeting up, but it never actually happened. It doesn't seem like they ever actually made any attempts to meet up. So that's why she's writing into the show. She's like, make it happen, Neve. I need your help. She says she got the name Mother Wolf because she was a part of a coven that had connections to the Lenape tribe wolf clan and she was the mother advisor so they gave her the name Mother Wolf. I don't know anything about Lenape practices so I'm not going to speak too much on that. So Neve and the co-host of the week they go off to Pennsylvania to meet with Mother Wolf. She says that when she and David aren't talking she howls on the wind and he always answers. Like a howl like kind of like a wolf. And he called me 30 minutes later. She says that her and David have talked on the phone, but they haven't video chatted or anything like that. There was always a reason it didn't work. He needed to get a webcam. There was this, there was that. And his voice is very husky. It's very sexy and it's very soothing. But keep that in mind that she said that, okay? This man was talking to her, was talking to her kids, and he would then just disappear and abandon her and her kids out of nowhere for months at a time. She would never ever prioritize her real in-life person relationships over her online connection with David. Always, whenever she's dating men, telling them, yeah, I got a man, so if you're not okay with me having this man, then get to step in. She says that David has a child, and she also spoke to David's baby mama on the phone a couple times, and they actually became friends as well. And the baby mama lived with him, and she was okay with that. Me? That's not okay, but... I would never end up in this situation. I would never be a mother wolf. So they only talk on Facebook Messenger. She doesn't have a phone number for him. She doesn't have any other way to contact him. It's just strictly Facebook Messenger. And she says that if it came out that he was lying to her, she would still be with him. She says that she has sent him gifts a couple of times to a house on Stonebridge Drive in Orlando, Florida, but she doesn't have an exact address. So Neve and the co-host, I don't even remember his name because it's not important, get to investigating and they find out, big shock here, that David has been lying all along about the pictures. Let's try a little facial recognition. Whoa, a lot of hits. The pictures are actually linked to a profile named Sexy Rexy on a weird website called Fubar. It basically is just like a website where you can buy and sell and bid on people. So it's not, it's not anybody named David, which are shocking. Then they actually go and find an address online linked to David on Stonebridge Drive, which if you remember, that's where Mother Wolf said she sent the packages, sent the gifts and he received them. So after their little investigation is done, they go back to Mother Wolf's house to share their findings. All right, well, we're gonna take you through kind of what we found. Sometimes I think it's time to just throw in the towel, you know, after all this time. Girl, it was time to throw in the towel 20 years ago. This should have never went past maybe a month or two, maybe three, maybe three at most. Neve then decides to send David a Facebook message just being like, hey, like, I want to talk to you. Mother Wolf contacting me because she really wants y'all to get together. She really loves you. Like, let's link. Let's make it happen. Mother Wolf then sends a message to David as well. David then calls her. Hey. Um. Hi. She seems super nervous and also giddy, despite the fact that this man has been playing in her face for 20 years. He seemed really, really upset that she contacted Catfish like not really excited to see her or talk to her. And I'm confused. 
because if you hadn't been catfishing, you hadn't been lying, you hadn't been holding up our meeting for 20 years, we would have never been here. So you should be upset with yourself. So Neve then hops in to save the day as he will do multiple times throughout this episode. Hey David, hey, sorry, uh, I'm just jumping in really quick. It's Neve here. Get straight up answers from David because for whatever reason, Mother Wolf does not want to seem to push him too much to get the answers that she needs and deserves. So just as Neve is like talking, you know, David then hangs up on Neve. So. The audacity. The caucasity, okay? So Mother Wolf then starts crying, but not because she's upset, but because David's upset. She's not upset because he was disrespecting her, not upset that he hang up the phone without solidifying meeting up plans. She's upset because he's upset with her. Neve then tells her like, you know what, fuck this. We're doing a drive-by, okay? We're pulling up to David's house. I don't care what David has to say. We are going there. You know, It's been 20 years. This man's not gonna keep giving us the runaround. Absolutely not. So then they arrive in Orlando and they head right to David's from the airport. They waste no time. Tensions are high. They pull up to the house. Neve goes to the door, knocks on it and out walks David. Oh, Jesus. Hi, how you doing? I'm all right. Neve. Dave. David, all right, nice to meet you. First of all, what is going on? And what is this fit, child? What is happening right now? What is going on with this wig? What is going on with this outfit? David, what is this? So Mother Wolf is again very sweet and seems very happy to see him despite him lying to her the entirety of their quote unquote relationship. And this face that Neve made, it's literally me the first time I was watching, like biting my lip anxious, like what the hell is going on? I've watched this episode like five times. I can't get enough of it. It just, it does something to my brain, this episode. It gives me such a rush. She then starts to flirt with this person and Neve steps in and is like, this is what we're not doing. Hell no, hell no, okay? So he starts addressing the real issues, asking the real questions to get the real answers. Clearly you're not the person in the photos that you sent. And it's been you and only you talking to her this whole time, right? So he asks David, like, what else are you hiding? And David says, there's a lot. That's so vague. You've had 20 years to hide some shit. So what are we about to find out right now? So says that he's not really David. David is a made up character and they are really Denise. I'm Denise. And I just basically role play David. So they say that Denise is who they live their life as and who they really are. And this voice switch is crazy. This shit blew my mind. And it's like, it goes from one sentence to the next, to the next, to the next. Like this took practice. So when I play David, he loves you, okay? David, Denise is very hardworking at this craft of theirs of deceiving people and lying to them for, I don't understand what the benefit is. So Denise then clarifies that Denise is a straight woman and doesn't even think about Mother Wolf at all when they're Denise. But David, David thinks about Mother Wolf all the time and loves her and is in love with her and is obsessed with her. So then David keeps flirting with June and buttering her up and Neve is not having it at all. Like you could tell Neve was at his wit's end with this whole episode and this whole situation. But he's been not totally honest and sort of led her on for a long time. Because it's clear David is just giving her the runaround and she's falling for it because she's in love with this man and been in love with this man for 20 years. David clarifies that David wants to be with June, but Denise wants nothing to do with June. And Mother Wolf seems happy hearing that David wants to be with her. And it's also clarified that Denise is the primary personality or present person and David is secondary just a small part of Denise. Not That's not really Denise wants to be in a relationship with Mother Wolf. I don't know, friend. I don't know. So then they leave to meet back up the next day. And Neve says this. Lovely meeting both of you. I know he's being sincere, <laughs> but that was so unintentionally hilarious. Like why was that his departing statement? So the next morning they pull up to David's house. They're expecting David to answer the door. Denise answers the door. Okay, David is nowhere to be found. David is gone. That man has packed his shit and moved out. So then again reiterates that Denise is their authentic true self and David was just a role that they were playing. So Denise says that she started to be David because when she was on the AOL chat, men were being 
men okay they're being creepy as hell and they wouldn't stop hitting her up and asking her for personal pictures so she just changed her name and changed her asl which for those you youngins younger than me asl stands for age sex location and then those messages stopped so then denise is like yeah well david is gonna die off now because there's no need for david anymore and mother wolf says this if it's not real i don't want it now keep in mind that she said that also remember when i said keep in mind she said david's voice was so sexy and strong and soothing do you think it is because to me it's not but everyone has different definitions of what's attractive to them i guess beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder so neve then asks denise do you know who you are denise admits to being many different characters including the baby mama Denise admits that they've actually lost track of how many characters they're playing and they slip up and they actually say that Denise is also another character. Are you saying that Denise, who, who we are talking to, is a character? You are in a role right now. Right. <sighs> These plot twists are never ending in this episode. It feels like it went on for hours and it was only 45 minutes. So then Neve is like, well, if Denise is not your name, then like, what is your name and who are you? Like, what is your real identity? And they go on to say that they will not say their legal name. And Neve just kind of respects it. He's like, you know what, whatever. We're not going to get real answers from you. You're not an honest person. In my mind, this is the Neve dialogue. He doesn't say this out loud, but you're not an honest person. You don't really know who you are. And it's clear something else is going on here. Just lays it on the table and is like, Mother Wolf, this is, this is not a person you need to be in a relationship with. You need to leave this person. Let this relationship lie here. Neve lets them have it in his Neve way, which I love, and then politely just calls them a liar. Mother Wolf agrees that things are ending, that the chapter is ending, and the book is done. So then two months later, we get a little update. And it's, you're in touch with David, not Denise. Right. And, child, <laughs> you can't make this, you can't make this stuff up. You really can't make this stuff up. They are together. They're in a relationship. And we are officially a couple now, online as well as offline. Whoa, okay. I'm just confused. June, girl, I need you to be so fucking for real right now. I need you to be so for real. Neve is confused and it's like, yes, yeah, sis, we are all confused. How did this happen? Why did this happen? Why would you do this? What is going on? It says that she left that night and David just sent her a message because he couldn't stop thinking about her and said that he wanted to be with her and would do whatever it took to be with her. So David is now, allegedly, the new primary personality just to keep June, which is interesting. And they said that they will remain David as long as they're able to be in a relationship online and offline with June. And, and that's the end of the episode, child. Me. That's my opinion! This episode was a real doozy. I think the thing that concerns or confuses me about this one is obviously I'm no mental health professional and I don't know anything about, you know, I can't diagnose anybody, but it seemed to me that there was some personality, some disordered personality stuff going on here. Uh, it seemed like David, Denise, they just lied about everything. So I don't understand how June could then go on to be in a relationship with them and say that they trusted them. I think the thing that got me the most is 20 years you meet them they're lying about not only what they look like they're lying about who they are they have the, these this character stuff going on and so they're not a very dependable person and you still choose to be in a relationship with them i think for me it was a sign that you know june had some self-esteem issues some stuff going on where she fully felt like you know this is the best that she could get and i don't i don't think that that's true i do think that being with this person who lied to her for literally two decades limited her love prospects in real life. The real life connections that she could have had and could have easily made. If you like this video, then make sure to like the video. And if you want to see me review some more Catfish episodes, make sure to let me know and leave your recommendations in the comments. This is a mess, but I love to talk about the mess, okay?